Hello everybody, so with Endwalker coming out another week or two from now, I decided to actually look up some cross hotbars, as you can see here, Final Fantasy, WX hotbar, Planner, and Simulator. So the good thing is there's actually a few sites that you can actually look into, which this one, I'm going to start with this one. I'll post this on the screen as well as the description below. But unfortunately for this website, it actually currently has only Shadowbringers skills. And as you can see here, you got Reaper and Sage. So you can actually go ahead and pre-register your Reaper or Sage skills. So, and they also have tool tips. So if you want, you can actually set up your cross hop bar or hop bar if you like. So you can set this up. Let's just put these, slap these on for no reason. Like I'm not, I'm. this is not how my bar is gonna be. Let's just do that for example. You can actually copy the URL and this will actually take you to this website with this particular uh, hop bar set up here or if you're done and you want to actually export it to the game, you can actually do it this way. But make sure when you're actually copying a macro from, for example, this website or any website is that each macro can only store 15 items. So if it goes over 15, you have to probably make a, another macro to actually fulfill every single slot. Because if you're going to fill up everything, I'm sure it's going to be more than 15. Then we go back to Sage and you can see here, you can do this here. So here's the thing with the, the new update or rather Endwalker. Now, like I mentioned here, these jobs are all currently Shadowbringers but if you go to this other website which this website is actually Japanese I can post this in the description as well so what I do is translate to English Google translate this to English and then I can sort of tell what each job is but most of the time when you're actually going through this you'll probably figure out the job by just kind of opening them up and then looking at the skills that they have like dark knight well that, that's a bad example knight is paladin and then gamble is gunbreaker astro logger <laughs> astro logger that's of course so basically you can go through this here's the best thing about this website is you can kind of go ahead and sort of figure out new stuff to put on your bar but here's the issue that you might actually come across Here, here's summoner for example you can see that there's like no abilities but let's go back a few steps all these abilities actually have tool tips but the unfortunate thing is Google Translate, to my knowledge, cannot auto-translate images. So, what I'll have to do is actually either go to a specific job, like Summoner for example, and then go over to this other website, for example, this Gamer Escape Media Tour Overview, and scroll down a little bit, and you can actually click on Summoner, and then scroll here, and then you get the image of the page of all the skills and abilities that you can unlock. So what you can do is actually kind of just cross reference the abilities here and then just make sure like the icons are the same. So like, for example, like gem shine and precious brilliance are over on this one. As you can see, you just kind of match the icon as you can see there and you kind of jump over. So basically the, this is how I would do it. Like the three little thing here, just kind of jump back and forth. Might be kind of over the top, but this is what I was just kind of messing around and seeing how my bar would look like for example on summoner so it's kind of interesting and you can kind of sort of set it up for all the other jobs so like for example like red mage you got new abilities here you can basically set up your bar so you can kind of get it all set up or, or sort of like getting it ahead of time because honestly when you finish one of these things so let's actually go over to summoner so if i actually to want to export macro the unfortunate thing is you got to click on one of the things and go there you go so i got like ruin three on there and if i want other stuff i'm just gonna throw stuff on here for now just do 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 okay so let's just throw this stuff on here it's all in japanese so it's it's kind of hard to actually translate this my knowledge i don't know how to actually translate a macro like this into english clients but yeah the only difference i see when you're actually trying to export a macro via this japanese website is that the slash xb is actually most of the time when i do a macro for actually placing stuff on my bar it's actually slash c hotbar for like cross hotbar but like this x hotbar is kind of awkward and then basically another thing that comes to mind is like if i look at this one i jump over to the bard website here the other cross hop bar website here it says like something like basically this whole thing says put the heavy shot in hop bar one at the right ad which would be down according to this would be action right trigger a down okay so when we actually i'm gonna slap in ruin four because then it would be all the same action so i can actually decipher the actual export here so if i look here every single one of these should be ruined 
four. So it's like this first section here is slash X H B, which when I put in combos or whenever I put in like a macro for a particularly for putting actions on my bar, I usually go slash cross hotbar. So for example, if I jump over here, this other website, CH hotbar action, this is just for an example. As you can see here, heavy shot one R A D, but then I jump over here, R A one. So it's kind of, it's kind of probably won't work as well. I'm not sure because I honestly didn't jump in to actually give it a shot, but this is not really what I wanted to do for the macro or I'm not going to actually utilize the macro. I just more or less showing you guys that there is macros on these websites and it's just more or less to show you that you can actually place this abilities on the bar ahead of time to kind of get you sort of getting in the mindset for when Endwalker actually releases. So if this helped you, feel free to hit that like button and all that good stuff. And I'll, of course, I'll leave all the websites that I use in the description below and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching and see you next time.